Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Columbus Day, Monday, October the 10th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Special day of racing at Belmont Park today, folks. Race 9, we have the feature, 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Pebble Stakes, a mile test on the turf. Three-year-old fillies race for $100,000. Contenders number 5, Elusive Pearl. Number 4, Ruthenia. Number 11, Arch Support, and number 3, M-Bar. few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history will accompany your handicapping efforts today. This race is not named after the famous Flintstone star, but rather after Sheik Muhammad al-Makum's champion grass mare, Pebbles. This chest chestnut mare won the 1985 Breeders' Cup Turf at Aqueduct as a four-year-old. Also at the age of four, she was voted the champion grass mare in the United States, champion older mare, mare and champion miler in England. Here in the 18th renewal of the stakes event, number five elusive Pearl, the overall speed and pace profile leader in this field, has hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number four Ruthenia has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, winning in her fifth race back. Jockey Alan Garcia and trainer Chris Clement sent her to the post for the Columbus Day feature. They've whacked the toad board with 60% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Race 9 summary, number 5, Elusive Pearl, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 4, Ruthenia, number 11, Arch Support, and number 3, M-Bar, 5, 4, 11, 3, and the ninth from Belmont Park, the $100,000 Pebble Stakes. Go to Monmouth Park in New Jersey for a race 7, 3.57 p.m. Eastern Post Time. A mile test on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up race for an allowance purse of some $45,000. Contenders number 5, Proof of Mischief. Number 7, Roman Invasion. Number 1, Hung Jury. And number 8, Inzip Free. Number five, Proof of Mischief, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a six-length power run win to break his mate in his first asking. Jockey Paco Lopez was in his iron, so those two outings is back today for his third ride. Number seven, Roman Invasion, has posted a trio of power run efforts in his last four starts, takes a class drop of eight track master units this afternoon. Race 7 Summary Number 5 Proof of Mischief Tops My Contenders List Which Also Includes Number 7 Roman Invasion Number 1 Hung Jury And Number 8 Innis Free 5718 In Race 7 From Monmouth Park Bonus Long Shots Let's Go To Suffolk Downs In Massachusetts First Race 6 The 9 to 2 Shot Number 5 Beam Me Up Takes A Big Class Drop Of 19 Units Has Hit The Board In Power Run Fashion In 4 Of His Last 5 including a power run win in his second race back. Mountaineer Park racing tonight, race 6, number 10, Defiant Darling. A 6-1 to one shot, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at 5.5 furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Monmouth Park. On Columbus Day, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.